Thanks to news anchor Brittany Jacob continues our team coverage now. She spoke to the family of Yamili Martinez Andrade this morning in Selma. She shares their plea to law enforcement and how the grieving parents want their daughter to be remembered. Brittany. Yami is what they called her growing up, and they say she attended a concert by rapper Tyler the Creator at Golden One Center downtown on Saturday night and then stopped by a nearby bar. Now, Yami later called her boyfriend to let him know that she was heading back to the hotel, but she never made it. Now her loved ones are heartbroken, and tonight they want answers, and they are hoping to get more information from law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> the family of 21-year-old Yamali Martinez Andrade is reeling from the death of their daughter. They called her Yami for short, and she is one of six people killed during Sunday's mass shooting in Sacramento. On Monday, Martinez Andrade's stepfather, Frank Gonzalez, sat with her mother, who was too heartbroken to speak. She was a real loving person. You know, she'd do anything for anybody, you know. Uh, you know, that's what she lived for is going to concerts. The family tells me she would work Monday through Friday and then plan her weekends to go to festivals and concerts around California. Her stepdad says she just turned 21 and Saturday's concert was to celebrate her birthday. And they still don't know exactly what happened next. We don't really know nothing because the PD, the Sacramento Police Department never contacted us. Nothing from the detectives or anything like that. So we don't really know uh, what happened. Yami kept in touch with her family during her trip to Sacramento, but they knew something was wrong when they did not hear from her on Sunday. Well, the friend that she went to the concert with contacted us yesterday about four o'clock to tell us that uh, something had happened to Yami, but we didn't know what. The family was eventually contacted by the Sacramento County Coroner's Office confirming the tragic news. But they are still waiting for more answers as they grieve a young life taken too soon. And we know a location has been set up for the victims' families in Sacramento, but authorities have not commented on how they plan to communicate with those outside of the city. Meanwhile, Yami's loved ones have set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. And we have that link on our website at abc30.com. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Jacob, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.